one thing that holds back a lot of artists from creating content is like abiding by like rules of art, like the artistic canon, um, and like trying to like fit within the realm of that, and also like not having the access to resources and stuff to like make like like high highbrow art. But like zines are like a reclamation of making art because you can do whatever you want and just make it into a booklet and you could do it with a piece of computer paper or notebook paper and some scissors and that's all you need. Um, which I think is one of the most appealing things about zines to me. A zine is pretty much like um, an alternative set, like form of media. Um, it started out in the 1970s as this thing called a fanzine um, and folks would kind of uh, make these little like handmade little booklets um, about bands they liked or movies they were really into and then the coolest part about it is they would make these things and they would send it to each other like they'd mail it and then their friends would contribute and it'd keep building on itself um, and become this like collaborative project uh, but nowadays zines have kind of become this like all-encompassing genre um, and like way of media that kind of allows people to create content in various shapes and sizes about like art or poetry or education or lots of other like different topics or still things that they just like and think are cool. One of the mini zines I made is called a vegetable head and it's like just about it's drawings of people with vegetables after heads um, and Chi Chi also made a fun zine that was inspired by our beautiful cat Vinny um, and called how to draw a cat uh, and it was just a kind of step-by-step -step guide. The first zine we actually made uh, was called Cassexis. Essentially, the zine is this like gender 202 that you always wish you had had because a lot of the resources available, easily available around gender are kind of like a very like 101, like, oh, gender is this thing and sex is this thing and here's a list of vocab words. Um, and that's like helpful, but in a lot of ways, very lacking. And since that first zine, um, Sue and I have like made an effort to kind of expand um, the content and expand the material. Um, and we've invited a lot of like queer and trans people of color to join us in content creating. And um, when we table at Zine Fest, we've been trying to invite our other zine creator friends, um, predominantly uh, queer and trans people of color, um, to like come table with us. Maybe Cassexis is the zine that'll help you come out to your parents. Or maybe like Dear White Friends is the zine that'll help you start talking to like a white friend of yours who you love, who's been like kind of saying some things that don't really jam well with you. Or maybe like you'll open Vegetable Head one day on a day that you're sad and then you'll be like, oh, well, okay, I'm still sad, but at least there are Vegetable Heads and this is kind of nice and let's just keep going. Um, but just like, I like the potential of our zines to like, just be things that people like or that are helpful to people.